News 8 and ABC News are giving you an in-depth look at how this deadly drug is hurting families all across New England. The News 8 investigators have spent months following a couple caught in the throes of heroin addiction. Their story is one being played out over and over again in our state, often with deadly consequences. Last year, heroin was killing an average of a person a day in Connecticut, and the numbers just keep getting worse. Chief investigative reporter David Iverson has been on the streets from New Britain to New London to give us a better picture of how heroin is changing the state. David. And the couple we've been following has been cited by a U.S. Senator calling for change. Tonight, that same couple is sharing their story of how just weeks ago, heroin almost killed them and the message they have for lawmakers trying to figure out how to handle this growing epidemic. Brings back a lot of bad memories and and uh, just bad times. Jean Bluen and Alicia Stetson are visiting their former home. Our tent. This is just how bad it got, you know? Our comforter. They used to live here under a bridge in Bristol. We were both actually working, but we were spending every penny on dope. For the first time since they began recovery from heroin addiction. There goes my shorts, my tank top, you know. Don't want none of that stuff no more. Gino Bluen and Alicia Stetson are visiting their former home, the tent they lived in, a candle they used for light and a jug for water. It brought me back to just how sad and broken I was. This is my first time back here. I know if I start using again, this is where I'll be. We introduced you to Bluen and Stetson in February when we traveled with them for a day on their journey to get clean. And together, these best friends go once a week on a day long trip to see a doctor. 12 buses over 12 hours. They travel from New Britain to Madison and back. It's their only option, one that might save their lives. We went to the library and, and we typed in Suboxone. Suboxone is a drug taken daily to keep cravings for heroin at bay. It's prescribed by a doctor. The Suboxone is really helping us. The lengths Bluen and Stetson go to get treatment inspired U.S. Senator Chris Murphy to demand change. The WTNH report that really opened my eyes to the fact that we've got a problem with this list and uh, now uh, I'm going to work to try to fix it. And after we interviewed Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services Commissioner Miriam Delphin Rittman about how hard it can be for Connecticut residents like them to find treatment. If an individual is having a difficult time getting connected to services, um, we really encourage them to, to, to call us. Her agency announced this week a 24-hour hotline for addicts to call if they need help. For Bluen and Stetson, they have more bridges to cross since this bus ride. I uh, got my hands on some new London stuff. A relapse almost killed Bluen. I was blue. I was out for five minutes, dead. They haven't used heroin since the overdose. It's I'm, the scariest thing I've ever been through in my life. And now that they are six weeks clean. We came so far um, already. Stetson is applying for jobs and Bluen is enrolling in a technical school. Somebody has to give me a chance somewhere. I just have to try every day. But still without income, they are losing their current home on April 15th. Of course I'm scared. But yeah. I know that if we end up back under a bridge, we're going to be here clean. And we're only going to be here for a short amount of time because I'm going to get a job. It is a big test for a very fragile sobriety. I'm scared. I'm scared because who wants to be homeless under a bridge? And you're trying to With be no clean. no drugs or alcohol in your system to numb it. God, I hope this never ever happens to us again. It won't. Definitely won't, baby. Definitely not. You've come too far. Again, that number for that addiction hotline, 1-800-563-563. 4086 if you're looking for a place to help get clean. That number is answered by a live person around the clock, 24 hours. You can get help from a clinic in your area. For the News 8 Investigators, David Iverson reporting.